Number 60. Calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of acids or bases. Assume that the ionization of water can be neglected and show that the change in the initial concentrations can also be neglected. And then we have letter D out of the bunch. So in this case, we have 0.11 molarity of trimethylamine, which is CH33N, which is a weak base. So thank you so much for telling me that. I went to the back of the textbook to find out what the KB, B stands for base, of the trimethylamine, CH33N, and it's 6.5, a 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now remember, any KB value has to deal with the balanced equation. So the first thing is we got to write a balanced equation for this base. Now with all bases, you have to incorporate it with water. Acids, there's a little trick, but bases, you have to write this with water in order to get the correct balanced equation. So we have CH33N plus water. You got to include that. So plus H2O. It's a weak base, so I know I'm at equilibrium. And then remember, bases gain a hydrogen. So it's basically the same thing, but with an H, right? So CH3, 3 NH plus. That's your conjugate acid. And then the acid will lose a hydrogen, and it becomes OH minus. And that's why we need to incorporate H2O, because we need to show that we have hydroxide ions in solution. And if you see hydroxide ions in your solution, you know that you're starting with the base. Now, when they said that we want to solve for the concentration of all the solute species, they're really asking for calculate the equilibrium concentrations. And what we started with here, 0.11 molarity of CH33N, that was the initial concentration. So this was initial values. So whenever they give you initial values and they're looking for equilibrium, we got to write an ice table. So we've seen this in last chapter. So we're, it's going to be the same table, ICE. And maybe we'll drop this down. Oop. Got to straight line it out. And maybe I'll pull this over a little bit. There we go. Put the other line here. Beautiful. Okay, pull this down a little bit, and now we're ready to go. All right, so I, I remember stands for initial. Now before I do that, let's just write in our aqueous, right? Any charged ions that you see are always going to be aqueous, so that's AQAQ. Your weak acid or your uh, weak base that you start with, in this case it's a weak base, is always going to be aqueous, but the H2O is a liquid, right? That's the solvent, that's the pure solvent, it's liquid form. And remember, KBs or KAs or any K values, no liquids allowed. So I'm just going to get rid of this as far as the math. That's what they meant by assume that the ionization of water can be neglected, is that we don't take into consideration any H2O breaking down to affect our OH minus concentration. Plus it's a liquid. Okay, so now 0.11 molarity of CH33N, that was the initial concentration for this one. So I'm gonna write down that I had 0.11. Now, did they mention that I had any CH33NH plus or OH minus concentration starting? I don't see it. So if they don't say anything, we have to assume that we didn't start off with any of it. Zero, zero. C stands for change, and it's the change in your initial concentrations. But you can't go lower than if you don't have anything. You could only go up from zeros. No such thing as a negative molarity. So I know that this side has to be plus, which means that the reactants have to be minus. I don't know by how much, so I'm going to label it a variable. That's x. So this would be minus x, plus x, and plus x. For acid-base reactions, generally, it's always going to be a 1 to 1 to 1 balanced equation, so you don't have to worry about you know minus 2x or plus 3x. E stands for equilibrium, 
And that's always the initial combined with your change. So 0.11 minus x is 0 0.11 minus x. 0 plus x is x. 0 plus x is just x. These are the values that we're going to plug in into our KB formula because we're working with a base. So let's just write that out first. KB equals, now remember, if you have two products, they're multiplied by each other. And then we have one reactant because remember, no liquids allowed. So let's see if I could fit this in. CH3, 3, NH plus times OH minus, and then this one I need definitely a little bit more room. This would be CH3, 3, N. Perfect. Now, they did say that we have to show the change in the concentration can be neglected. So the change, the C, in the initial concentration can be neglected. So we're talking about this minus X. Now basically, since this KB value is very, very small, it's way less than negative one, that means that what you started with is probably what you're going to end with, right? A really, really low KB value is that at equilibrium, you favor your reactants. But if you started with reactants, and you're going to end with probably the same number, or very, very close to it, are you really going to change? Not by much. So this minus x can be neglected, aka for math purposes, we do not include it. But when we come back and we actually find out what this equilibrium concentration is, we will then plug in the x value that we found out. Okay, so let's go. Kb is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, which equals, now comes the fun part, it's all about math. We have two guys on top, one on the bottom, x times x divided by 0 0.11. We're gonna do cross multiplication here. So this times this, right? And x times x is x squared. So x squared equals, let's see, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0.11. I'm not going to round because that's not the final answer. 6.93 times 10 times 10 to the negative sixth. We want to solve for x, so we take the square root. That's how we get rid of the x. And then we have, that's how we get rid of the square. And then we have the x value. Now here I'm going to round, and I'm going to round to two sig figs because they gave me two sig figs. So 0 0.0026, and that's molarity because all these values are in molarity. Okay, now we're going to plug in the x values in all of these. Well, the CH33NH plus is just x, so it's just this number, and the OH minus is just that number as well. So we already have two out of the concentrations. So we know that the CH3, 3 NH plus was just 0 0.0026 molarity. So that one's good. We also know that the OH minus is also X. So that's 0 0.0026 molarity. That's a check. But now remember, when we come back here, we're really going to take that x value. So it's going to be 0.11 minus 0 0.0026. And then I'm going to find out that number, CH33N. Let's see, 0 0.11 minus 0 0.0026. And as you can see, it's 0.1074 molarity. So it, it started off as 0.11. And now you're at 0 0.107, so not much has changed. But now there's a catch here. They wanted all of the solute species. Here are the three from our balanced equation. But remember, if you have an OH minus concentration, you secretly have an H plus as well. So we have to find out what the H plus is. And if I just want to solve for H plus, I would divide by the OH minus, right? So if I just rearrange that, I'll say KW 
divided by the OH minus would equal the H plus concentration. We just found out that the OH was 0 0.0026, and the KW is a number that you probably have to memorize. Your teacher or professor won't give it to you. It's a standard value of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So if I just go up here and I just say, okay, something divided by something else equals H plus, and that's going to go over here. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 0 0.0026. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 0 0.0026. And I guess two sig figs. So my H plus concentration, or H3O plus, it's the same exact thing, is 3.8. Yep, 3.8 times 10 to the negative 12th molarity. And since you have way more OH minus than H plus, that also signifies that this is a base. So our answers kind of check out. And here are all of our answers. There's four of them. So this one was crazy. Whew. We're almost there, guys. I think there's one last one for number 60. So let's finish out strong. If you guys are on the playlist, hang tight. We'll be doing it in a little bit. In the meantime, if you wouldn't mind pressing the subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.